Okay, so today's lesson is 1.4, Properties of Numbers, Part 2. So today you're going to learn about distributive property. So to find distributive property, property, you're going to multiply the number on the outside of the parentheses by all the numbers inside the parentheses. If there is an addition or subtraction sign, it stays the same. So in algebra, you would see it as A parentheses B. Anytime you see a number or a letter next to a parentheses, it always means multiplication. So it would be A times B, and 7 times 3, and 10 times 7. It always means multiplication. Here is your distributive property. On the left-hand side, you have A times B, so you write it as this, A times B, put it in parentheses, plus, there's your plus, and then you do A times C. A times C, you rewrite it. Okay, in numbers, you would see it as this. A, 8 times 2, you write it in the parentheses, plus 8 times 5, and you rewrite it. Go ahead and try the 3 parentheses, 4 plus 9. When you're ready, you can go ahead and push play. So you should have written it as 3 parentheses, Oops, sorry. Parentheses, 3, remember the first number, so it'll be times 4, end of parentheses. There's a plus here, so you write plus, and then it's 3 times 9, end of parentheses. So that's for addition. Now for subtraction, it's exactly like addition, except instead of having an addition sign, you would have a subtraction sign. So you have A times B and A times C, and in the, between the two parentheses, you have a subtraction set instead of addition. So here, in number sense, you have 2, 2 times 9, subtract, okay, you'll see a subtraction, and 2 times 3. So go ahead and try the bottom one, see if you understand. When you're ready, push play. So you should have written 3 times 5, here's your subtraction, subtract, and 3 times 2, okay? And remember, everything is in parentheses. All right, go ahead, so looking at example, now example 1, how would you write this? You should have known this is 5 times 6. So go ahead and do 2 and 3. When you're ready, go ahead and push play. So you should have written this as 6 times 9 and 12 times 3. All right, 4, 5, 6, we're going to do together. So here, we've given you the parentheses and put the multiplication and the plus, but now you've got to fill in the numbers. Remember, the first parentheses, you write the 3 times the 7. The second parentheses would be 3 times the 6. Go ahead and do 5 and 6, and when you're ready, you can push play. So first parentheses, you should have written 8 times 2, and the second one, 8 times 4. Your th number 6 should have written 3 times 7 minus 3 times 6. Now, 7 and 8, we are not going to give you the parentheses. You must do it on your own. So you notice, if you look at the pattern, there's two parentheses. So I'm just going to write the parentheses. In the middle here is plus, so I know I have to put a plus here. Here, if you notice, look here. Here's a 3 and here's a 3. The outside number is always your first one and it's repeated. So I'm going to write 5 here and 5 here. Times is always in the parentheses. And then here, 2. So it's 5 times 2 and 5 times 6. Go ahead and try number 8 on your own. When you're ready, go ahead and push play. So you should have written 3 times 7 subtraction, and 3 times 6. Now, in your work, uh, worksheet that you're going to be given, you have to solve. 
So let's go, we're going to solve. Um, we're going to do 7 and 8. So what you're going to have to do, looking at this, order of operation tells us that we have to add. So it'll be 5 times 8, and 5 times 8 is 40. Let's see if we get 40 on this side. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 5 times 6 is 30, and 10 plus 30 is 40, and we get the same answer. Go ahead and try number 8 on your own, and when you're ready, push play. So you should have done 3 times 7 minus 6 is 1, 3 times 1 is 1, is equal to 3 times 7 is 21 minus, oops, sorry, 3 times 1 is 3. There's one mistake. Okay, and 3 times 6 is 18. 21 minus 18 is 3, and you get the same answer. Do you notice that I went back because I made a mistake, and I knew I made a mistake because I should have gotten the same answer?